Six months ago, I received orders to pull every regular grade soldier and civilian contractor away from the airstrip. Two Black Hawk helicopters sat down minutes later. I thought it had to do with Australia, especially when I saw covered stretches coming out. How many? Five. Guarded by a heavily augmented special ops team. Virk went out to meet the leader and the whole group disappeared inside the detention camp. There's some kind of black project going on in there, Jensen. Something involving prisoners and scientists. And I need you to find out what it is. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I just want to get on with this. Fine. What do you need me to do? Hold still for a second. What the? Relax. I'm just compiling your biometric signature. Retinal scan, pulmonary and vascular imaging, the works. Once I upload it to the network and give Corporal Alan Tyler a security rating, you'll be able to pass through specific checkpoints in this sector. Only this sector, why not others? Because I've seen how bloodthirsty you like to be. I can get you into the detention camp, but the interrogation wing is going to be a problem. Only Burke can give clearances for that. And I assume you don't want me to go ask for one. Still the comedian. There's a security mainframe inside the detention camp central command. You'll need to upload this copy of your biometrics there by hand. Contact me using your infolink once you do. Any more questions? That's all I need to know. Good. I'll upload to the security network from here, so get going. Alan Tyler will exist by the time you reach the prison security court. Oh, and one more thing. There's a mechanic on the base named Quinn, a civilian contractor with a sideline in procurement. He's discreet, and I trust him. So if you need extra firepower, seek him out. He's near the elevator in the lower level maintenance area. Just be careful, and try not to draw too much attention. Yeah, well, <laughs> a little too late for that. Um, anyway. We're gonna go check out Mr. Quinn. Go fast, I need to get start the ammo and shit. Talking about. Christ almighty lad. You got half the garrison shitting themselves and afraid you got in patrol. Look, I don't want no trouble. You hear? The commander said to help you. That's what I'll do. Just just don't kill me, alright? I got children. Eat them. Well, uh, look, I, I don't really have yet, but uh, eight. All right, all right, I don't really have any. Just, just don't fucking shoot me. <laughs> I've got eight children. Well, not really. I don't have any. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Well, whether that's true or not, I'll take some comfort knowing there's three inches of bulletproof glass between us. Yeah. Look, Keitner said you can help me. Can you? Yeah. She told me to be expecting you. I'm just glad you came as soon as you did instead of going off on your own. There's enough kegs of powder lying around here already without throwing another loose cannon in the mix. You know how much we're risking to keep you off the radar? We've only got so much pull around here. It's Burke's show. And he'll do as he bloody well pleases. Which means stamping out any rats the moment he gets wind of them. I'm grateful, but can we get on with it? I understand you run a nice little sideline in procurement. Aye. From time to time you might say being inclined to do a little, uh, how should we call it? Bartering. On the side. Since the commander signed off on it, I suppose I could open my stock to you. For a price, that is. You mean I have to pay? What? Of course you have to bloody well pay. I ain't exactly a fucking army quartermaster down here. Mississippi contractor trying to make ends meet. This ain't a bleeding charity. Considering the circumstances. Circumstances? What, that you're a fugitive and I'm risking my neck just talking to you? What are you trying to pull here? Although, I don't suppose you had anything to do with a stasis pod that was saved back in the ship. How do you know about that? Ah, so it was you, eh? Well, let's just say I have my sources and your little random act of kindness didn't go unnoticed. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount on me wares. Just no freebies or handouts. But now that I think of it, if you're looking for a little something for nothing and don't mind a little light work, I've got an iron that could use running. Consider it a special offer of sorts. You interested? No. 
just want to do what the show. Playing? Since I ain't got nothing else. Alright. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. Go oh, fuck yourself. Anyway. Um Did I buy that? Yeah, there's fine. Okay. Let's go. Into the speed around this thing. Fucking dicking around town. Subject, 
recognized. Access granted. Come on, let me fucking go. Jeez. Jensen, I'm in your detention camp and uploading to the security mainframe now. Copy that. Any problems? Nothing I couldn't get rid of. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right now, you need to get inside the interrogation wing and find out what Burke is hiding. Contact me when you know. Keitner out. There we go. seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet, or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. <clears throat> I'll alert them anyway. Burke and the two doctors were just 
we are heading for the moor. 